Hi there, Del here again from Live and Learn Thai and in today's video I'm going to take a look at uh, making a Thai driver's license uh, why you should have one and how to do it So when you make your Thai driver's license, you want to be spending as little time as possible at the land transportation office and if possible doing it all in one visit. So it's good to be prepare, prepared before you go. So in this first part, I'm going to do this in two parts. The first part of getting your Thai driver's license is getting everything in order uh, before you actually go to the land transportation office. But first of all, I'd like to look at um, why you should have a Thai driver's license. Well, when you come to Thailand, you're probably driving on your own domestic driver's license and you may also have an international driver's permit. Now, strictly speaking, you shouldn't be driving on your national license, domestic license, without uh, one of these, which is the international driver's permit. This, however, only covers you for three months in Thailand. Uh, if you drive beyond that, um, you're driving illegally. Now, do the Thai police know that when they pull you over for anything? Probably not. They probably uh, wouldn't even worry if you didn't have an international driving permit uh, and just had your domestic license. So, at the very least, at the very most, what you're going to get is um, some puzzled looks and maybe a, a few hundred baht fine and you'll be on your way. If you're very unlucky, you might have to visit the police station to pay the fine. Um, otherwise, no problem. Where the problems arise is if something happens uh, when you're out and about on the road and you don't have a valid driver's license. First of all, all insurance in Thailand is null and void if you don't have uh, a valid driver's license. Um, so you're going to be liable and uh, that can cost quite a lot of money. So uh, it does make good sense to get your tire driver's license if you're going to be here uh, for the long term or even medium term. Uh, the second reason is that it's also a very good uh, photo ID document. Um, I have two, I have one for the motorcycle, one for the car. The car one I will keep uh, in the car at all times. So when I'm out and about in the car, I'm always covered and the motorcycle one I will keep uh, in my wallet and it covers me when I'm out on the motorcycle and also walking around so if anybody asks to check my ID um, I have a photo ID with my date of birth everything and it's also proof of address you can see it has as well as a category of vehicle it covers it also has your uh, home address on the back so that's a bonus um, you can use this for domestic flights in Thailand. You can use it for checking into hotels. Um, a good example of when I used it was when they introduced this uh, mandatory registration for SIM cards in Thailand. Uh, I didn't need to take my passport with me to go and register my SIM card. I used my driver's license. Also, when you go to the hospital, places like that. Um, so it makes good sense to have an additional uh, photo ID document. Uh, you don't want to be carrying your passport around with you if you can possibly avoid it. The less you carry it around, the less you have to get it out, the less chance you have of losing it. And um, I've worked in the tourism industry for a long, long time and I've spent uh, too much time in police stations and consulates trying to help people who have lost their passport. So uh, you really don't want to lose your passport. So having an extra photo ID is, uh, is a very good idea. So what do you need in terms of documentation? Well, if you have one, as I said, the, the object of the exercise is to spend as little time as possible there. So you don't want to be doing uh, a lot of tests if you can avoid them. So take along your domestic driver's license. Uh, the international driving permit should save you from taking any tests. Uh, so they should just issue the license on the spot. I should stress, however, at this point, 
that um, regulations, although fixed, um, are put into practice in different ways in different offices throughout the country. So you may find it varies greatly from one transportation office to another and also from person to person within that land transportation office. Uh, also on a day-to-day -day basis, you could do one day and say, oh, no, 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 you need this, you need that, you need that. And the next day they'll say, oh, no, that's okay, you've got all the paperwork, you don't need to take the tests. Uh, so it does vary, but it's a good idea to have all the documentation in order. So your domestic driver's license and your international driver's permit uh, will save you from taking any tests, hopefully. Then you need a, a medical certificate done within the last 30 days. The medical certificate, um, one for each license, if you're applying for multiple licenses. And it's a good idea to do that, to apply for motorcycle and car, uh, both at the same time, for the simple reason that they then expire at the same time. And uh, you can renew them again uh, in just one single visit. You will also need your passport and you should photocopy the photo page, your departure card, and also the, your latest visa stamp. You will also need some proof of address. And if you don't have a yellow uh, house registration book in Thailand, uh, you could use your work permit if you have one. And otherwise, the easiest way is to get a residence certificate uh, from the land transportation of uh, from the immigration office rather and uh, how to do that I'll put the link in up there up, no up there and I've also made a video on that and I've also made a video on um, on how to get a health certificate an idiot's guide on how to do that uh, so you can check that out as well and I'll put the link in up there as well so that's how to get your residence certificate and how to get your health certificate and the only other things that you need are your own uh, personal documentation as i just mentioned uh, so getting that all together may take some time and once you've got it all together the, you can then contemplate uh, when you're going to go now when to go is an important issue the temporary driver's license which is issued uh, on your first license application is now valid for a whole two years it used to be just be one year however you can almost get three years uh, i've done six driving licenses altogether including renewals and every time they have given it up to the date of my birthday so if you go after your birthday if you have a birthday up and coming you may want to delay your visit uh, for your driver's license so after your birthday because then you will get the two years then the time up to your next birthday and i've spoken to others who've had this exactly the same uh, uh, extension and um, i wouldn't say it's going to happen 100 percent of the time but that seems to be the way that they do it certainly at my uh, local land transportation office the expiry date always on my birthday so for my latest license i got uh, the five years plus the time up until my next birthday i always go out of the country over songkhan so my license is always expired um, every five years when i come back so then i have to go and renew it so i will then get almost six years the important thing to note then is uh, because your license is expired, it's not to drive until you go and uh, renew it again. But you've got plenty of time to renew it. Um, as long as you renew uh, within a year of its expiry, uh, you don't have to sit the tests again. Uh, anything beyond the year, you have to start from scratch. But within a year, uh, you shouldn't have to sit the tests again. Uh, the disclaimer here is, once again, that... Uh, Regulations, although fixed, do vary from office to office, from person to person within the office, and on a day-to-day -day, day -day basis. Uh, so you could be lucky, let's hope you're lucky, and uh, stay tuned and I'll have the, the second part of this video, which uh, is the actual trip to the land transportation office. 
when you go to make your driver's license. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Live and Learn Thai.